All right, disclaimer. This is a personal YouTube channel. Any views or opinions represented in this YouTube channel are personal and solely belong to me as the owner and do not represent those people, organizations, or institutions that I or may not be associated with in professional or personal capacity unless explicitly stated. Any views or opinions are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, or any individual. Approaches to impact prediction. Um, we have expert judgment. Uh, we have comparisons, on-site experiments, and mathematical model. Um, so first, when we say expert judgment, um, this is based on experts' knowledge and experience. That is why when you make your EIA study, or uh, if you've already read the example, um, the two examples that I gave you, uh, two example EIA study that I gave you, um, as you read through, there is act uh, they actually stated the group or the AAA uh, preparer or the AAA group or the list of members uh, who prepare the AAA study because um, it is actually very important to state um, the name of the members under expertise. Um, though in your case, um, the members are mostly engineers per se, um, but basically if um, the DNRMB would be confident would be more confident if um, the EAA group correlates to the study that or correlates to the type of project um, that they are submitting. So, for example, um, the EVSU College of Medicine, um, which is um, your EAA study, it would, if I can give a comment as to the members or if I can select members, it would be better if there is a doctor of medicine that is part of your um, of your study because it's a college of medicine so that medical doctor can give insights as to for example the design of the building um, what are the needed equipments um, what are the classroom design and laboratory design um, at the same time I would also suggest in your uh, group that there should also be um, um Though engineers are, uh, you have a good background in geology, so that's okay. Um, there should be an environmental science specialist um, in your um, in your group. Um, what else? Um, there should be a, a risk assess. Uh, there is actually a specific term to that. Um, a risk. Uh, I forgot the the correct uh, I forgot the correct um, term to that specific person who are an expert on risk assessment. There's actually a specific um, term to them to, to 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 that kind of specialist. But anyhow, um, again, one of um, one of the um, approaches to impact prediction are expert judgment uh, based on on experts' knowledge and experience. Next is, of course, comparison. This is more of um, comparing your EIA study with an existing develop, uh, development or develop development similar to that proposed study. That is why um, I gave you uh, two examples of an EIA study, which is also um, almost the same um, project. Um, however, the, the difference is, I think they propose a, a a laboratory building and a gender something building. On your case, you are um, preparing for um, a college of medicine building. So though those two buildings or three buildings tends to have um, a difference on the specialty or on the specialized building per se, but basically, um, you know, it's almost the same project. It focuses on the um, construction of a building so yes that's one of the thing uh, comparison um, approaches to impact prediction comparison next uh, of course is on-site experiments 
So experiments may be carried out uh, on existing location or in laboratory. Um, in your case, since it's a building, it the best thing you can do is, of course, um, well, this is not, uh, you are being discouraged to go uh, to Babatmon and, um, and do a sightseeing or a site uh, visit, but as you said, uh, you already did it, so that's very good. Uh, but when uh, when we um, conduct in an AIA study, which is on building construction, so on-site experiments might not be um, that much applicable per se, because um, you know it's it's a construction of a building. It's not unless uh, you will have a a prototype. I don't know how you call it in engineering or archi architecture. Is it a prototype or, or I don't know exactly what's the name. You know, when architect, when architects, you know, when they have a design, they build it in, in a miniature. I forget the name of that. Um, anyhow, um, on-site experiments are more of applicable on um, projects um, that I would say that its impact are not well known yet. So they have to conduct an onset experiments. So at the same time, it also involves um, potential contaminants or characteristics of the proposed activity um, that may be reproduced on site and the effects directly monitored. So again, this is more of onset experiments are more of applicable on a project that its impact are not well known yet. And that would um, involve contaminants contaminants or or toxic chemicals per se yeah next approach is mathematical models so representation may be carried out um rep representations um between cause and effect and the form of one or more mat uh, mathematical relationship um the two simplest model of uh example would be the population growth form in which um, you can put a mathematical model on this. Um, this is actually for this is actually the for example um, for example your proposal is to um, build a condominium condomin, condominium building in Tacloban City. So of course you have to predict as to what will be the population of Tacloban City in you know in after five to 10 years. Of course, for your study or for your um, condo, um, for you to know if your project would be feasible of the, or if it will be uh, profitable after, I don't know, five to 10 years. So of course, one of the best way to, to check if there will be enough population that would be interested um, to buy or that would be interested to get uh, a unit from your condominium condominium building, then this is one of the things that um, you can consider doing mathematical models. Um, at the same time, um, at the same time, you can also do mathematical models um, when it comes to, um, for example, you are doing a. Um, for example, you. Um, your proposed project is a mining activity in a specific area. So of course, before you do mining, you have to you have to study first as to what is the quality of mineral that that you will be extracting, because if the if the quality of the mineral that you will be extracting would not be that good, then therefore um, your investment might not also be that good. So aside from well, I'm talking now. I am talking now as to not to the EAA preparation per se, but I am talking now as to how you can use mathematical models. Um, yeah, as to how are you going to use mathematical models. So let us say you calculated as to, um, you, you want to calculate as to how many months it would take you to extract uh, a certain mineral on a specific area. So you can do a mathematical model on that. At the same time, um, you can also model as to, um, as to for let us per se, how many, um, yeah, how much it would take you to extract um it would you can also model as to um the volume the volume of 
um, minerals that you can extract on a specific ore um, in comparison to their quality per se. So that's how you can use um, mathemat mathematical models. Um, representation between cause and effect in a form of one or more ma mathematical relationship. So let's go now to the methods of prediction or how to predict. 